Every story begins with a single letter and one word. And the story of Alex and Emily Irving as husband and wife started today with words, I do. I think everyone here would agree that today starts our happy ending, but I have to disagree. I think our happily ever after began eight years and 12 days ago when you asked me to be your girlfriend. Emily, a little over eight years ago at the Greystone auction, I never would have thought I'd be standing to the woman that would become my wife. And everyone outside here has experienced directly or indirectly the story of their love. In high school, Alex used to send me recordings of Emily singing because he was so proud of her and wanted to show off her talent. I've grown closer to you every day, and your empathy and compassion never fail to amaze me. You bring so much to the people around you, most especially me, and I am so grateful for it. Alex, I wish I could find the words to express how much you and our relationship mean to me, but there's no way to put everything I feel into words. So I will start and end this the same way. I love you. <laughs> For the past eight years, I have never lived a day without you as my best friend, another half. I choose you today not because I want to live with you, because I cannot imagine living life without you. <laughs> Alex, I have absolutely no doubt whatsoever that you love my daughter. When you talk about her, your eyes light up, you have a giant smile across your face, and it's abundantly explicit that she's changed you in a way that perhaps no one can accurately describe, but we all see and hear with the tune of your two song. Emily, you are one of the two most joyful things in your mom and dad's life. We cannot even begin to imagine how to tell you how proud we are of you and the person and the young woman you have become. We always have and we always will love you with our whole heart. Stop. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Yes, no, we're not going to cry. You are absolutely drunk to the police. And I would ask whether they were going to, we're going to get married. And they would both explain with some variation of, I can't imagine being me without them. Thank you, too, for providing me with a real life example of storybook love. For years, I convinced myself that true love wasn't real and it was just fairy tale movies. Then Alex proposed to Emily. When Alex told me he was going to propose, I could see on his face just how much he loved her. When Emily called me to tell me she had said yes, I cried harder than I'd ever cried before in my life. and together into the unstoppable team that we make today. I promise that for as long as we rock climb, I will climb all the rocks in the world with you, and when necessary, I will try my very hardest to move mountains for you. Over the course of time leading up to this moment, there have been difficulties, but happiness and joy, just like there will be moving forward. But I, I will always go forward and face the world hand in hand with you by my side. In our time together, I have done my best to learn how to love you the best ways that I can. And I will continue learning as we both continue to grow as individuals and as a couple. In the many years ahead, I will try to make less of a mess when I cook. <laughs> I will always get out of the bed to lock the front door, even when you're convinced we didn't lock it. And I promise not to drag you up a cold, snow-covered mountain to climb rocks again. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Alex, you may kiss your wife.
promise that our life together will never be dull and every day will be an adventure. And when we're old and these adventures change pace, I promise that you and I will sit hand in hand until the very end. to celebrate you in success, and most of all, I promise to always protect, care for you, and love you forever. I love you, and I'm certain that I will continue to love you forever. Love you with my whole heart and my whole life. And I promise that you will never walk through life alone. And although our life will not always be as perfect as it feels today, I promise there's nothing that you and I can't do together. I will be quick to forgive and slow to anger. I will be patient and compassionate. I think the moment that I realized we would one day be here at this wedding was freshman year of college. Alex had to write an assignment detailing why he is the way he is and the people that helped him get there. Of course, he included his family and friends, but he also included Emily. As Emily read to me the paragraph he had dedicated to her, it really sunk into me how much they loved her. I promise that no matter how many dog videos you send me, I will watch them all, <laughs> say that I did, to make you happy. I promise to let you make all the messes in the kitchen that you want. I promise to encourage you, support you, and appreciate you. I promise to see you when you don't feel seen, and listen to you when you don't feel heard. Alex is a lucky man to have you. Please know that you contribute to and improve his life in a very deep, fundamental way. He is obsessed with you, cares for you, and devoted to you in the best, most wholesome ways. It will be your story. You will write it together. It will be filled with love, laughter, romance, passion, new and exciting adventures 